Now we've set up our smart alarm board, let's open SmartThings and take a look. Within SmartThings, the key app that we use is SmartThings Home Monitor. This allows you to specify the security settings for your alarm system. We're specifically looking at the security settings. It allows you to set up which sensors are armed when you're away and which sensors are armed when you're at home. This is similar to some alarm systems which allow you to part arm or fully arm. Let me give an example. You may wish only to arm certain sensors at night time. For example, you may not want your landing or upstairs motion sensors to activate an alarm during the hours of night time. This allows you to set the alarm system and be confident that only an intruder downstairs will trigger the alarm system and not a child or an adult using an upstairs bathroom. Your armed away settings will typically be to sound the alarm on all sensors for maximum security. You can also specify the siren that's activated, the alert duration, the delay before the alert to give you time to disarm if required, and push notifications which will notify your mobile device that the alarm has been activated. Within the app we can set security mode reminders which use geo data to remind us that everybody is leaving the property or somebody is arriving home and the system is armed. I've chosen in my system not to use security mode reminders because I've found they don't work best for me but that's entirely up to you. Within the app you can also look at the individual sensors within rooms and group them according to your liking. In this case, this is the front door sensor. We can see that it's closed. We can also see that at 3.08 p.m. it was opened and then closed when somebody left. Now let's take a look at the, some of the menu options. Within the menu, there's an automation section. Here are some automations I've set up. Let's take a closer look. Rule 1 relates to my tamper circuit. I have two wires which are connected to my smart alarm board and this rule specifically sends a notification to me and other members if anybody interferes with this. This means that we're notified if the tamper is interfered with even when the system is not armed. The second rule is for the personal alarm in the master bedroom. When this is pressed I want the siren sound and a notification to go to members regardless of whether the system is armed or disarmed. Rule 3 automatically sets the alarm at night time. I want my security mode to move to armed stay if the system is disarmed at 11.45 p.m. Rule 4 disarms the system at 7 a.m. every morning but only when the system is set to armed stay. This is so it doesn't disarm the system when it's set to armed away, for example, when I'm on holidays. By disarming the system at 7am when it's set to armed stay, it means that the alarm is not triggered accidentally every morning, which makes it convenient for me. You can set any rules to suit your configuration.